Welcome back to our Monster Chase game. In the previous video, we have created our game manager. We are able to select which player we want to play the game with and we load that player when we play our game. Let's demonstrate that by hitting play here. I'm going to select this player. But the problem that we have here is that when we collide with the monsters, we are not dead. We see that the monster is moving and so on and so forth and our game is glitching at the moment. So we are not doing anything. What we need to do in order to fix that is we can simply go in our player class here on collision enter we are going to check if target dot game object dot tag is equal to monster so monster then we are going to destroy our game object so destroy game object which is the player this is the player class so we will destroy the player's game object we need to do the same thing here for on trigger enter 2d and it takes a collider or excuse me yeah collider collision is for the on collision enter so collider 2d target and here we are going to check if target so let me just type it right so if target dot tag is equal to monster we are going to do the same thing so here i'm going to type destroy and passing the game object which is the game object of our player now one thing that you should pay attention and close attention to i saw many people making mistakes here this method on trigger enter and on collision enter they are both inherited from mono behavior if you don't know what inheritance is go take a look at c-sharp videos where i explain what is inheritance so they are both inherited from mono behavior the name of these function is on collision enter 2d on o capital collision c capital enter e capital 2d d capital if you type it on collision enter like this with lowercase o it will not work if you type here on trigger enter with lowercase o it will not work so i repeat it will not work if you try to detect collision and you see that nothing is happening 99 percent of the times you wrote on trigger enter like this or lower t here on the trigger or lower e here on enter you made a mistake you misspelled something so the name of the method is on with capital o collision with capital c enter with capital e and 2d with capital d here the name of the method or the function is on with capital o t with capital t trigger enter with capital e 2d with capital d so please make sure that you spell that correctly or otherwise these methods or these functions will not work if i go back now in the game and run it if i select either of these players and when we touch any of the monsters if we touch the ghost we have died we see that we are no longer available here and i'm seeing that our back button is obscured by our moon so let me just go back here and let me select the moon so order in layer for the moon is two and order in layer for our canvas is going to be three so now it will not be obscured excuse me let me go back and select our player and if i go here our moon will not obscure our button anymore but if we touch or collide with the monster now we will die the same way as we did before because now we are detecting collision and we are killing the player when we die but what we need to do now we need to restart our game in order to do that i'm going to use events and delegates to help us so if you don't know what are events and delegates please go in the c sharp section playlist on my youtube channel right here and take a look at that so here we are going to create a public delegate void which is going to be player died like this so i'm going to name this one player died and we need to open close parentheses and what i need to do here is also create a public static event which is going to be player died which i'm going to name player died like this again if you don't know what delegates and events are go in the c-sharp section of my youtube channel and take a look at that and it will be more clear but in short these events enable us to subscribe other scripts such as our gameplay controller and subscribe 
methods or functions from that class or script to our event here. And when we call our event, we are going to execute the method that's inside of our gameplay controller. So in order to see that, I'm going to go here for our gameplay controller and create two methods. First one is going to be void player died. And the second one is going to be a coroutine. If you don't know what a coroutine is, please go and take a look at that in the C-sharp section of my videos. So I enumerator, and I'm going to name this one restart game, because here we are restarting the game. And for the coroutine, we need to type yield return new wait for seconds. So wait for seconds. And I'm going to wait two seconds before we load our level. And here we have our Unity Engine scene management. So what we can do is we can simply type scene manager dot load scene passing here gameplay scene. So gameplay scene and make sure that you write correctly here what we want. And here we can now call start coroutine passing here our restart coroutine. So here I'm going to simply pass our restart game coroutine. And now in order for us to subscribe our method, we are going to do that in void on enable. And here we are going to type void on disable. On enable is a method that's going to be called when this game object is instantiated. On this able is going to be called when this game object is destroyed. Be that destroyed in the game from the monsters. Of course, our gameplay controller is not going to be destroyed by the monsters, but I'm just explaining here. If it's destroyed by the monsters, if we go in another scene and it's destroyed, on this able is going to be called. And here in the on enable, we subscribe to events right here and in order to do that we are going to call our player class so player dot player died which is the name of the event and we type plus equals and now we type which method we want to subscribe and we want to subscribe player died method so player died like this this is the name of our method right here this means that this method now is subscribed to this player died event which is this event right here. So when we call this event inside of our player class, we are actually going to execute this method right here. And in on this able, we are going to unsubscribe from it. So we are going to copy it and we are going to type minus equals, meaning that we are unsubscribing our event or unsubscribing our function from this event. So in short, here we are subscribing the function called player died, which is this one right here, to the event called player died in our player died class. That means that when we call our player died class or player died event now, we are actually going to execute this event right here. So we can demonstrate that. So we can go here. And when we destroy our game object, before that, we are going to check if our player died is not equal to null. This means if we have, so we are testing if any of our classes scripts has subscribed to this event, then this event will not be null. If that's true, we can simply call here player died. So we can type here player died like this. And when we call it player died like this, it will call our gameplay controller. It will call this method from the gameplay controller and restart the game. So if I go back here, we also need to copy and paste it right here. So if the player died is not null, then call the player died event, which will call any method that it's subscribed to that event. And here we are subscribing our player died method, which is this one right here, which will call the coroutine to restart our game. So notice now, if I go in my Unity editor and run the game, if I select either of these players, so select this one, when we die now, we are going to call our event, which is going to call the gameplay controller and it will restart the game. So notice now, two seconds and we are going to restart the game. The game is restarted. We see the player again here. And if I go back and if I select the other player, and now if we die, so if we touch the monster, notice two seconds, one, two, and here we are. 
So congratulations, our game is complete. I will go briefly again just one more time. So what we did here is we have created our in on collision and on trigger enter. We are checking if we collide with the monster, then we are destroying the player. But here we have created a delegate and event for that delegate. And in our gameplay controller, we have subscribed to the event by using our player died function. So our function is subscribed to that event, meaning when we call the event, we will execute this function right here. So when we go back in the player class, when we collide with the monster, so when we touch it, then we will die. But before that, we are going to check if any of the scripts is subscribed to our event. If that's true, the event will not be null. Then call the event. And when we call it, we will execute this function right here that is subscribed to that event. And we can test that again. If I go back here, run the game, select either of these players. If I touch either of the monsters, so I jump over this one. So let me just wait for the another. And he has touched me two seconds and we have restarted our game again. So congratulations, you have created a complete game from scratch. We have learned a lot in these videos and sorry again for delaying them, but now I'll be more often on my YouTube channel and I will post more videos. And again, I'm repeating, we have learned a lot. So we have used events and delegates in a practical approach. We have saw or we saw what are singletons, how we can use them, how we can create a character select system, so on and so forth. So please share the video, subscribe, comment, and like the video, and stay tuned for more videos to come.